Today I'm going to a shop close to my house and uh, it's not for me. Uh, yesterday uh, one of my viewers, one of my well, die-hard viewers uh, called me yeah, on my WhatsApp and he asked me, well, uh, let me take the other mirror because maybe people need the elevator, yeah? And uh, well, he asked me, uh, can you see if these people are trustworthy because he saw a Sony TAF3 or 3F and uh, okay I, I, I went looking on Mark Platz and then I saw well this guy is around my corner uh, it's just a one minute walk from my house and uh, well I know the guy I, I was there a few months ago and uh, he have a second-hand shop and he also sells uh, uh, well stereo equipment and I talk with the guy that I am very interested in everything he he gets I'm interested in buying concerning vintage stereo yeah so I know the guy and uh, he asked me well uh, can you check it out for me if it is so close? And I'm willing to do that because Paul, the name of the guy is Paul out from Litauen. Well, this guy, he, uh, he hit my soft spot one day. And uh, uh, because he told me, because of me, because of my videos, he start collecting Akai. He only a, a, a collect Akai. So I asked him, why do you want a Sony? He said to test it out because one of his friends have this Sony, the same Sony, and he say, well, it is a superb sounding receiver or a amplifier. And uh, well, uh, Paul is a smart guy. Paul is a very smart guy. When I have something for sale, he asked me, well, why can't I buy it from you? Just ship it to me. And I, as, as you all know, I hate shipping abroad. This is because I have to pack the thing in, in a box, yeah, I tape the box in, go to the post office, even if the guys want to pay me some extra money, well, I don't feel like doing all the extra work just to ship the things away, you know, and because I, I told them always, uh, this hobby from me, this, this vintage stereo hobby, for me it is only, you know, to review the things, not to make an extra buck. Yeah, and uh, well, I show you where I live, yeah, how, and how, how close this shop is, and I know Paul will love this movie, I will test the thing out for him, and I will, well, try to make a good deal with the shop owner, because Paul told me his original price is 89 euro, and he wants to pay 60 euro, that, what, that is a, exclusive, the, uh, I, the, all my neighbors coming in and out, and uh, <laughs> it's, but, but it's the only mirror in, 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 in the neighborhood. So, uh, and uh, I want you to see me talking with you now. And uh, well, this is another favor I uh, I do for him. So I go to walk to that uh, shop. It's just one minute walking, and when I'm there, I start uh, my camera again. Okay. So as you can see, this is uh, this is where I'm living. This is uh, just a street, and as you can see on the other side, we have this new, my most favorite shop. This, uh, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. This Chinese shop with all Chinese ingredients. Yes, this is the shop I often buy clothes. Well, most of my clothes come from the shop, Primark, yeah. And, uh, well, I'm just walking to the shop and you will see how close this shop is from my house. Just one minute, one and a half minutes walking. And uh, I hope the shop is still open because it's a quarter past four. And normally on Saturday, just close in the last five o'clock. So, I'm not sure if it's open. Anyway, this is my hometown, this is my neighbor. And the first time I just show my neighbor, everything's closed, everything's closed. I have a big shop center, I have a shop center, I have a big shop center, I have a big shop center. And, uh, well, here we have a heating shop, now we want to buy something in the evening, on this place. And, uh, this is my favorite pizzeria, New York Pizza. Look at it up. This is a shrimp shop, so plenty of food, plenty of food. If you want to buy, I hate so many ways. Well, you just saw the proof, it's all about these guys. That's why it's close to my house. And, uh, let me see. Now we're going to close the shop. Now we're going to close the shop. And I hope it's still open. Let me see. Let me see where the shop is. Because I don't often come in these parts. 
Yeah. Here it is. Here's the shop. And the shop is, the name of the shop is Used Products. And these shops you have everywhere in the Netherlands. And well, I talked with the guy a few months back and he told me that his shop is doing okay. And uh, this is what he sells. And as you can see, I right away when I enter, yo, you're the owner, yeah. We met uh, a few months ago. You, you remember me? I think so, with the, your, the amplifiers. I think. Yeah, the old, the winter stuff. Yes. And today I make this movie yeah. because one of my viewers, uh, he started collecting because of me. He lives in Litouwen, oh. Paul. And I know Paul contacted you because of the Sony amplifier. Could be on the via mail, I think. Yeah, yeah. through mail. And then he, he didn't know that your shop was close to my house because I live one minute walking from your shop. Yeah. And then he asked me, are these people trustworthy? Because you know how it goes in this world. People say they have it. And when you uh, uh, make over the amount, yeah, you have to pay, then you don't receive nothing or a broken thing, yeah? And I told them, well, I'm 100% sure this guy is trustworthy because he have a shop. And I talk with the guy, I know the guy. So it was a very nice coincidence. And then I, I told him, you know what? I'm gonna make a movie. I'm gonna make a movie. So you see from who you buy the thing, where the shop is, and I will even film the amplifier for you. So we were so happy. And that's because I have a weak spot for this guy because this guy told me, Paul from Litauen, I told you earlier, he started collecting Akai stuff because of my videos. Ooh. And uh, is this your uh, scooter? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a nice scooter. I also bought one scooter last month, but yeah. uh, I had to sell it right away because it didn't went to the corners in my, <laughs> in my basement. Yeah, it it, it was too big, it was too big. Nice unfortunately and well before i i show you this amplifier let me show you what this guy have this guy have like this for example a sony turntable the pst30 for only 55 euro what's the price here and that's a very good price for because this is a very good turntable and as we all know Turntable prices rose in the last two years 100%, so a double of the value. And this is a nice 55 euro for this turntable, is a very good price. And it is looking good. And uh, let me see where the amplifier is. What, what is this? This is nice. This, this I never saw before in my life. A Boland and Fuchs High Fidelity. Wow! This is something special. This is something special. What I see here is the first time of my life and he only asked 80 euro for it. And I think, what is this, Tesla? <laughs> well, all the, <laughs> the name Tesla is often misused or, well, uh, because Tesla doesn't have nothing to do with it, but I see often in electronical parts or uh, high fidelity equipment they use the name Tesla. Yeah, Tesla is long gone. Yeah, but anyway, this is how they use names, and this is the Sony amp. Yeah, this is it. And let me see the the quality of the amp. Wow. Well, he told me he saw it was not 100% mint, and that's true because what's this? It have some spots. It have some spots, yeah. And uh, but these spots are so little that it's not worth mentioning. And uh, well, the thing looks nice. And he asked 89.99, so 90 euro. And I'm here. I'm here. Well, what do I have more? What's this? The, well, this is not very interesting, this tuner. And uh, a Technics amplifier, the SUV 303. Well, he have, he have enough, he have enough. Uh, not amplifier. A nut amplifier? And, uh, the, the last one on the your Okay, 389 euro. And, and this... 
This is a, a receiver. With a CD player. The nut. The nut Viso 3. It's a very nice thing here. Yeah. For 389 euro. I'm not very familiar with nut, also not with the prices, but it looks it looks high fidelity. Yeah, I, I recognize high fidelity right away. Watch how these guys make these well these openings, these spots for to to to, to let the heat away. And it looks beautiful. It looks it's 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 a beautiful amplifier. But what I also like is this <laughs> this subwoofer. I never saw it as a TMA subwoofer and it has some damages in the corners, but <laughs> you, you remember my video from a few months back on the CES that, uh, um, who are they, the powered, the powered speakers from, I believe it was from uh, Macintosh, yeah, the new powered speakers from Macintosh, they all have this view meters and i love those few few meters on powered speakers but the price were very expensive they asked one thousand dollars for only a 60 watt speakers and that's always a problem with macintosh they their prices are just too high for the normal guy on the street like you and me but anyway i love this uh, subwoofer it's a very nice looking subwoofer but as you all know i never use subwoofers that's why i always want those those bass heavy sounding speakers and and uh, well, the, the last time I came here, he had nothing from vintage, but now we have plenty. And uh, probably he also discovered the power of vintage. Yeah, I think he, he is pretty new in this business. He is pretty new in this business. And uh, well, you have to learn. And I see that he learned because he knows that vintage is hot at the moment. And from everything he have, I like this Boland and Fuchs high fidelity. Uh, well, it is a turntable with an amplifier. This one I like the most. This one I like the most. It is a beautiful thing. Beautiful mint looking. Okay, the, the hood has some scratches, but as you all know, these scratches, I, you have to take them for granted because you can polish them away if you know how to do it. But for the rest, the thing is looking mint. <laughs> it, is, it is a rare thing because I never saw it before. It's my turn, next customer. And uh, well, your price is 90 euro. And he told me he, he think it's too expensive. So he sent me here, you know, to negotiate with you. And uh, uh, you remember his mails, Paul's, Paul's yeah, mails from Litouwen. And, uh, and he wants to pay how much? I think he said 50, something like that. Wow, come on, don't kill this guy. This guy has to make a living, my friend. Uh, 50, no. And you're, you're, you're suggesting him? I, like I said, I can maybe go in the middle, let's do, let's do 70. You want, it's a fair price. you want to let it go for 70 euro? So you heard it, Paul. Is the thing okay? You, you tested it yeah, out for it's, working? It's, we give a warranty on it, so yeah. Of okay, so you tested it out. Yeah. Okay, I, I, Paul. I trust this guy on my guts, and uh, he won't. Maybe he would lie to you, but he would not lie to to me. You know, believe me. And uh, the thing is working okay. He wants 70 euro for it, and uh, I'm not sure if that's a good price because really, I have the other one, the 4A, the, the bigger brother from this. I have already for one and a half year, not tested yet for working, but well. If you want it, if you, yeah, you yeah, know, the shipping costs are also coming together, everything together. Well, you heard the man, the man, you saw the thing, 70 euros. This is the guy who is maybe going to sell a thing for you. And, uh, well, you have to, uh, to uh, contact him again if you agree with the 70 euro. Yeah. And, uh, but 50 euro, I also believe 50 euro when somebody asks 90 euro. And this is a shop, this is not a private seller. So I believe 50 euro is a little bit too low, but yeah, you learned that from me, eh? Start low and end somewhere in the middle, okay? Oh, yeah. This is how we do business. This is how we do, if you want something, always start low or 
sometimes you're lucky the thing is already incredible low yeah like i often have 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 the luck but in this case well start with uh, the price is 90 euro you bid 50 he comes with a price from 70 well i think it's fair i think it's fair and maybe if you see this movie yeah i will upload it tonight for you and i will app you that the movie is online you can make your own decision if 70 euro is well, it's a fair price well uh thanks for watching the the address i will uh i will do it in front of my video so everybody can see i recorded also some nice well the sony is a nice it's a nice turntable and you told me that the duck the duck receiver is special well i don't have that knowledge from duck so much not 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 yes not and uh, well you can see it here right here the nut so this nut is a uh, well according to him one of his finest things he have in his shop but as you all know i'm more a vintage lover and i have more interested in this bow land and fuchs and this i think very good priced sony turntable i think the price is very good 55 euro and you know what the nice thing is from this shop you have guarantee yeah if you buy with a private guy yeah and you come home and you see the thing isn't working the thing is broken you have zero guarantee and this guy is giving guarantee and that's the beauty of this shop when you buy in a shop yeah even if it is second hand yeah and uh, well the most well paul is a smart guy because the most beautiful thing in in this shop is really this sony if if it sounds well like paul is expecting the sound but i'm not sure i don't know this this kind of uh, sony's and as you all know i'm a sony lover from the es series but the es series started in 1987 and this one was built in 1977 and at that moment sony well we will see we will see i if paul buy this amplifier i wait for his comment i wait for his comment because he can Compare this Sony to his, well, he have a Akai A1200, the Akai AM2850, he even have Akai AM2950, so he have all top of the line Akai receivers and amplifiers in his house, so he have a good comparison. Well, thanks for uh, watching this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, on my channel, and uh, if you like the video, don't forget to put your thumbs up, and for now I say bye-bye. Uh,